Okay. Explain to us what you're doing. Bench testing. Bench testing the fuel injectors. Make sure we're getting a decent spray pattern out of each one. So what was the deal with this truck? Start, run, no it's power. Start and run, no power. Horrible. Idle. It was misfiring really bad. seem to mist quite as much as okay. the others. It would idle very poorly. And what did you find when you uh, pulled the fuel rails off? That they were full of particulates, rust. Full of just chunks of garbage, right? Oh yeah, they were nasty. Okay, why did that happen? Why was it all full of garbage? Um, I would guess that the fuel filter sat in it too long, just kind of disintegrated. Okay, it could be. One of the shop vehicles here sits around, sometimes for months at a time. Whoa has old, old fuel in it and some of that fuel is, we just corroded in the fuel lines so we're checking to see if these injectors are all spraying properly and what are you using to activate the injectors injector so just a little injector tester like you would use for doing a injector, injector balance, balance test. Okay, this is good. Maybe and then we've irritating. got the Maybe hold this one. If you would. fuel rails are hooked up to our fuel injector cleaner. So that's what we're using to pressurize this fuel rail as we go through and manually test. So far all the injectors look okay, yeah. but we've cleaned out, seems like a ton and a half of garbage out of the fuel line and out of the rails. Yeah. So there's obviously a concern that the screens on top of each fuel injector could potentially be plugged, or that the nozzles could have a problem, but so far it looks like they're all spraying just fine. That one acted a little yeah, weird. Again. A little bit. Huh. Maybe it had something in it. A something or a little. Maybe it had air in it. Air oh. pocket. Yeah. Could have been an That's air pocket I because we've got, this is a returnless, or not a returnless, it's a return type system, but the return is all okay. associated with the other, it's all on the other rail over here. So there's our regulator. And you can see we've got, we've got about 16, 17 inches of mercury on this vacuum pump so that we have proper fuel pressure in our rail. But over here, the tube crosses over to that other rail and if we had some air trapped over here. Okay, so you think the injectors are good? I would say they're pretty good. Without, without any doubt, really. And the fuel rails and the regulators. The rails are clean, regulators right. So everything seems to be working. Now, provided that we got all the fuel out of the fuel lines, this thing ought to run well.